And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. Count still full, three and two. Round ball right side. Morgan from shallow right. And there's out number two. Batting seven. Second baseman. Robinson. So bases are empty here with two gone. And set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Jackson is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mariners able to get one back in the inning thanks to the solo home run. We've played two. It's the A's four, and the Mariners one. In now, Willie McCovey. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch on its way. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Standing in now, Orlando Cepeda. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Waiting on it is Enniger. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batter, Jackson, Mike Piazza. Digging in, Mike Piazza, and he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. And that's finally over for a strike. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. 
So a runner at first with two away. And here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. First offering on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Piazza leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Zero. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. But that is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So a good job for him there to bounce back after giving up four last time around. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the A's four and the Mariners one.